praying and fasting just does something. It's a weapon, okay? So somebody needs to hear this that you need to go on a fast. I don't know who, but you need to go on one. This was not a coincidence. God knew that I needed to keep tabs of this and write this down because he knew that this moment was going to come. I didn't know that it was going to come, but God knew that I, he was going to put this vision in my heart to create this. If it's just one or two people that find use out of this, that's all I care about. I don't need 50, 60 people on here, but if 50, 60 people want to show up, then what's up y'all? We outside. You know what I'm saying? Like, and writing the vision and making it plain really works like this is not a joke y'all i'm about to flip the camera and show you guys that i'm not lying okay, so i don't know i felt like god was just backing out the camera he told me to back out the camera, so that's why I'm backing it out, and I want to document this journey. So, God gave me the vision to create this Own Your Shift community back in when? Let me tell y'all when. I have to open it up, because I this is the importance of journaling. Like, I write everything down. Um, he gave me this vision. Guys, I have to find it. He gave me... Oh, hold on. Let me come back when I find it. So he gave me this vision on uh, October 23rd of 2023. And I literally have it in my planner here. And it says that I was waking up this morning and God placed in my, my, my mind the idea for a brand called Own Your Shift, which is a brand that helps young women oh, young women and aspiring entrepreneurs effectively shift into their um, new selves and i just wrote like a whole bunch of stuff and it just helps like help women go from lazy to productive and unlock their true potential um, i got the idea of creating a productivity planner and yeah there was just a whole bunch of other stuff that i wrote here in this journal and this was in october uh of 2023 and now we are in december today's december 5th 2023 and God has just not let up on that vision. Like he's been giving me a lot more um, downloads and insight on what he wants me to do. So I actually created the Instagram page last week um, and I've been like putting out little contents here and there. Um, but we are only at like what seven followers and two of those followers are of my personal pages from <laughs> my fitness page and my personal page is following it. So I'm only at five followers. But again, you know, be a good steward of the little that God has given you and best believe that he will multiply it. Right. So he has also put it in my heart to do a vision book party for January 21st. Um, and. The goal is to do it uh, an in-person portion, but also open it up to a virtual portion so that people that are not in the DFW area, that they can also attend it online. Um, and I kind of wrote down what God is just telling me that should be a part of this um vision book party and what he wants me to do for this event and how he wants me to bring it to life like how he wants me to incorporate praise and worship for the event prayer and just like the presentation and just who he wants me to collab with i've i literally got revelation and y'all i'm fasting so today is the second day of my fast right and this is probably for somebody if you have been seeking God and you've been feeling like you need revelation, you're a little bit confused on what to do, you feel like you're at a standstill or you're in the midst of stagnation, go on a fast. Go on a fast because when you fast, like it's like you're calling out to God and that moves God and that and and that helps you draw near to him and to really be able to hear what God wants for you and how he wants you to go about something. So I feel like I've gotten the most revelation when I've fasted. When I go on fast, that's when I receive the most clarity. And that's when a lot of things come to into fruition and they birth because that's when I really can be in my word and in my prayer bag and in my worship bag. And that's when I really feel like God's presence is here on my life. Of course, he's here with me every day, but praying and fasting just does something. It's a weapon, okay? So somebody needs to to hear this that you need to go on a fast i don't know who but you need to go on one 
but yes so basically this video is just going to be um just me documenting the journey so whenever i feel the desire to pick up the camera or god urges me to pick up the camera i will pick it up and i will show you guys uh just basically the process of everything i'm gonna just flip the camera and basically show you what i've written down um in my journal for just what the vision of god wants me to do for this event um, and I'm sure that as the days and as the weeks go by, that there's going to be a lot more that I have to come and share. I'm sure there's going to be hurdles. Um, there's going to be things. There may even be opposition. I don't know what's what's to come ahead, but I do feel like God is calling me to document the journey. So welcome in on the journey. And yeah, once this comes to pass and comes into fruition, I hope that you were able to personally attend. Um, and that, that you had a great time at this vision book party because right now this is just still an idea this is still a seed ain't no tree ain't no tree grown out of it yet it's just an idea so I'm just excited to see how this comes into manifestation how all of this comes to life I'm excited to see what the process is going to be like because this is something I've never done before and I know it's not necessarily going to be easy but I know that by the grace of God if it is his will he will make make sure that it comes to pass so yeah <laughs> so this is the journal y'all and this is what i wrote and this is what i've been feeling like you know like the vision that god kind of gave me today i sat down early this mor morning after my prayer time and my worship time and this is just the download that i felt like god gave me so y'all i started decorating the planners uh, that I want to I felt like you know God was telling me to make um, yeah so this is what it's giving so far and I'm gonna continue I mean I'm not done because I want to use this page to like list out you know encouraging Bible verses so you guys can look back and refer to and then I also want you to have a section you know where we have a, like I pray for you so like what's my prayer for you um, and then I also like, you know, a section where you guys can go and then write your prayer for the year about, okay, what, what do I want to pray for myself for the year? And I included it and gave it like two pages because listen, my prayers be long. Okay. So give you enough room to really write what your personal prayer to God is. Um, but yeah, this is what's going on so far. I'm sure that, you know, as the days go by, I'm going to like go in and tweak certain stuff and really fix it up and it's like depending on what I like and whatever I feel like God is telling me to do but again this is just something that's in seed form this planner is not real yet it is just <laughs> um on the internet on my Canva, and that's it but yeah y'all let's really talk about how God knows what he's doing like he can turn everything to work for his purpose y'all so I am currently editing the um vision book journal that i'm trying to create for this and guys guys let me show you so like i told y'all earlier i wanted to do a section where i include like bible verses for encouragement so that you know as you're going throughout the year you can come here and select certain bible verses and then you can read it so that you can kind of have some encouragement y'all when I was going through what I was going through in this past season, out of nowhere, I don't know, like God just kept putting it in me every time that I read a Bible verse that encouraged me to come down and write the verse in my notes. So I was updating it. The last time I updated it was October 27th, but I've in my other notes, I have other verses that I've written down. But as I was going through what I was experiencing, all the depression, all the sadness, all the tears, all the pain that I was experiencing in the previous season, I was still in my prayer bag. I was still in my word and I was reading my Bible. And every time I came across a verse that really spoke to me, I felt like God urged me to go in my notes and write it down. And I just wrote it down just because. And lo and behold, the same verses, the same scriptures that I was making mental notes of as I was going through my season, as I was going through my wilderness, is the same verses that I can now utilize and put into my prayer journal. Ain't God good. God know what he's doing. He works things 
all out for those who love the Lord, okay? This was not a coincidence. God knew that I needed to keep tabs of this and write this down because he knew that this moment was gonna come. I didn't know that it was gonna come, but God knew that I, he was gonna put this vision in my heart to create this and that he knew that as I was creating this, just today, I wrote down in this book right here that one of the things that I wanna put into the book is a section for Bible verses of encouragement. And I was and I was thinking, oh, how am I going to find Bible verses? Like I might have to do some deep research. And then boom, that's when it clicked. Girl, <laughs> this wasn't in vain. God knows what he is doing. Trust the process. Y'all, I know I look crusty right now, but uh, so I purchased a sample for the Own Your Shift journals. Yeah, I just purchased a sample while I was in Miami. So that was two days ago. And I just responded back to the lady because she kind of sent me um, an outline asking me if everything looks correct. So I'm looking at it right now. Um, so they're making the sample and then they're going to send it to me and I'm going to see how it comes out. And I am nervous, excited, and exhausted. But uh, let's just see how this goes. Let's just see how it goes. I'm going to turn the camera and just show you like what it looks like. So I know y'all can't really tell because the pages are so small. But I had sent her like the outline and basically the outline only had like these couple of pages, this page right here and this. And then I just kind of explained to her what I wanted because the book is going to be 150 pages. But the first couple of pages is going to be for like specifically the vision and I included like encouraging Bible verses. There's a prayer in there. And then like, there's also a section where you can write your own prayer. And then this is like the blank pages that you can do for the vision and the pictures. And then um, these next pages are gonna just be like um, lined pages where you can just journal throughout the year. So I don't know how the sample is gonna turn out, but I'm excited to see how it turns out. And you know, if there's any changes that need to be made, I'm looking forward to seeing how it goes. So I'll update you guys along the way. Okay, y'all, so I'm cooking right now, but I wanted to come here and just like, give a brief update. So today is, what's today's day? Today is Sunday, um, December 17th. Today's Sunday, December 17th, 7, December 17th. And I just uploaded um, the vlog for this previous week. And in that vlog, I basically asked y'all if you guys would be interested in doing a vision book party, right? Because I, this was something that I felt like God placed in my heart. He actually placed part of this idea before I even started this YouTube channel. And then, you know, stuff started to align, but I was kind of still like, hmm, I don't know if anybody's gonna wanna do it, but I still took the initiative and still ordered the planner before I even asked y'all if y'all wanted to do it or not, because I'm just like, I'm gonna be obedient to God. I, whatever he said, do, do it. But um, I am just astonished by the amount of comments that I've gotten so far. And the video has only been up for uh, like a couple of hours, maybe like nine, 10 hours. And I've gotten a handful of people that have responded saying that, yes, they would love to do a vision book party. So yeah, I mean, of course, not every single person that comments is going to attend. That's just how things happen. But listen, even if just four to five people show up for this, I don't care. Like I'm not doing this for the numbers or the vanity metrics. I'm doing this because this is a vision that God has placed on my heart. This is part of the vision. There's a lot of other things that God has placed for me to do, but I think that in this moment in time, he really placed it on me to do this and that it's gonna help someone. And my thing is, even if it just helps one person, that is all that matters. But you know, of course, the more the merrier, but if it's just one or two people that find use out of this, 
That's all I care about. I don't need 50, 60 people on here. But if 50, 60 people want to show up, then what's up, y'all? We outside. You know what I'm saying? Like, the more the merrier, you're all welcome. But I just wanted to come and just add that as, like, a little sharing. Because, you know, I am documenting this journey. And I just did not expect, you know, people to really be saying that, oh, they would like to do something like this. So... I'm hoping that, you know, the sample planner comes relatively quick. I am praying that God can bless my finances in order for me to be able to invest in these planners um, because they are not cheap, y'all. I'm going to just say that. They are not cheap. Just getting the sample alone is a pretty penny uh, because it's coming from a whole other country. But once I get the sample, if I decide to move forward with getting the planners, y'all, they not cheap they're not cheap i'm talking about it's given like a whole month of rent to buy a set number of planners right and when i say that i'm not saying that to like you know but i'm just being real raw with y'all like it is not cheap and i can't afford that i'm being honest i really can't but if it's God's will again, it's gonna be God's bill and he he gonna figure it out and he gonna show, he gonna give me the way, he gonna give me revelation on what I need to do in order to afford um, to invest in this vision, um, however he sees fit. But yes, it is a pretty penny. Um, yeah, so I, I don't know, we gonna see because the journals are not gonna just be no basic regular degular flip through the pages journals. like. I prayed over this and I put thought and intent into it um, and I'm excited to see how it comes out. I can't wait till it comes in the mail so I can show y'all so y'all can see what it's giving. But yeah, that's just the update. I will catch y'all whenever there's another update. Hey y'all, so you guys know that I am planning the Own Your Shift vision board party and this is going to be one of the collaborators with me. Say your name, say your name. I'm Ashe. And what do you do? With so I do a, I do a lot of stuff. I have a floral business, Sincerely Florals. I am a realtor and I started a nonprofit a little earlier this year called Together Degree. Ooh, yes. And she is going to be um, servicing Sincerely Florals as part of the event. So we're going to just be talking about it. And I'm going to talk about how God is funny when I get back home. Because listen, the way, I'm going to tell you a little bit later. But let me go and chop up some business with her. Y'all, I just came back from a workout class, but y'all saw the last clip, and I just want to tell you guys how funny God is. So, right, I got the vision for this vision book party, um, like, you know, a couple of weeks ago, right? And then I basically wrote down the vision in my journal about how I wanted this party to go, how I wanted the planner decorations to go, and all of that. And one of the things that I wrote, and this was on the December 5th, I wrote in there and I said that included in this vision party, I want to do a flower bouquet or like a flower making portion that you guys can like pick your own bouquet of flowers to make as like a gift to yourself. And right next to it, I put that the person I wanted to partner with is Sincerely Florals. Y'all, the lady that you just saw in the last clip, she is the owner of Sincerely Florals. And let me tell you how we got in contact. I first um, heard about her when I went to one of the women's conference. Oh no, sorry, not the women's conference. When I went to one of the networking events in one of my previous vlogs when I first got here, and you know, I got myself a bouquet of flowers and I loved it. I was like, "Oh, this concept is so cute." We followed each other on Instagram, but you know, after that, we did not have any sort of interaction at all. But for some reason, in my mind, I felt like God was like, "That's who you should partner with." to do your vision book party. And you should include that as part of like, you know, the experience for the vision book party. So I wrote it down in my journal on December 5th and today is December 20th, 15 days later. Yo, I did not reach out to her. I did not text her. I did not do anything. She randomly, randomly y'all <laughs> on Instagram DM'd me this workout event that was going on 
And she was like, you know, hey, do you want to come? And I'm like, God, you funny. <laughs> God, you funny. I, God was looking at me like, girl, I felt like God was literally just saying like, girl, um, I told you this is who I want you to partner with. So when are you going to hit her up? You know what? I'm going to have her hit you up. She's not even going to know why she hit you up, but I'm going to have her hit you up and I'm going to set it up. So literally... She randomly messaged me out of nowhere. That was the first message we've ever interacted. And she just sent me this fitness event. And, you know, I responded back. I was like, yeah, you know, I would love to go. You know, we should go. We bought our tickets and today was the day and we went to like the fitness event. And when I met her there, I literally asked her, I was like, did you just like, what prompted you to send me that invite? Because, you know, we've never really like connected like that like I know I met you briefly at an event but we didn't really like you know connect like that so what prompted you to send it to me and she was like oh you know I sent it to like you know two or three people that I thought would you know like it because you know I know you're into fitness and stuff like that and you know the other people didn't respond back but you know you were the only one that responded back and said you would love to go and I was like god you funny you are real funny and yeah I you know so you know, I met up with her and then, you know, after the event, we sat down and I kind of spoke to her briefly and just told her this funny story that I'm telling y'all or how I had her in my book as how I wanted to partner with her. And lo and behold, she reached out and I'm like, yo, whoa. And sometimes I get so shocked because it's like, yo, God is real. Like God is really working and writing the vision and making it plain really works like this is not a joke y'all i'm about to flip the camera and show you guys that i'm not lying i'm not lying y'all it really works guys uh and one of the prayers that i had i was praying for months during my fasting right before god brought me into this season i literally said like i've been praying i said god if there's any destiny helpers that i need to help me fulfill the visions that you have for me god allow the destiny helpers to know you know allow me to come across those people soften their hearts towards me so that they take a liking towards me right because we cannot do this thing alone we cannot cultivate the vision that god has for us alone like yes god places a vision up here and yes you can start to bring it it's your creativity that brings out the vision but you are going to need certain people that is going to be able to help you to bring the whole thing to life god does not just gift you with just the vision he has other people that have gifts and talents that you might not have but in collaboration together you bring something so fruitful something so great together and that is something that i've learned right when i was in my period of isolation and now I'm getting out of that isolation period. But I learned, listen, you need people to, to progress in life. You need connections. You need to cultivate that environment because you cannot do this alone. All right. So um, I just should have to say I am so thankful to God for just like, you know, answering the prayer, you know, I've, I'll pray this for weeks. Like, God, bring the destiny helpers, bring the people that are going to be able to help me bring this vision to life because I know that I can't do this alone, right? Yes, you have God by your side, but you need men, you need people to help you cultivate certain ideas and certain visions. So I urge you, if you're reading this right now, I mean, you listen to this right now, if there's somebody that you know you feel like you need to connect with or there's something that you want to get off the ground but you feel like it's not working, you, pray to God to send you destiny helpers. Pray to God to help you illuminate who he feels like you should connect with in order for you guys to collaborate and bring a vision to life. So yeah, I, that's really it. We're going to meet up next week, Wednesday, um, and we're going to go out to... Uh, dinner or lunch and then we're going to talk a little bit more details about how this is going to come to life so i'm excited i'm nervous and all of that and y'all i think i found the event space i don't know yet but we're gonna see and i'm actually also meeting with another young lady tomorrow um and i met her at one of the fitness events that i went to and she helped create that fitness again um, event and put it together like the for the photo shoot thing and she, you know i felt like you know she had reached out to me she was like yeah you know i heard you had an idea you know let's go to brunch let's go to lunch and talk about your idea and see how you know i can help you out so um i think it's gonna be the three of us i think i'm gonna be partnering with those two ladies to bring this um vision together and to bring this party together and see how it goes um and yeah i created the form for y'all y'all is inputting your information in so 
I'm excited, I'm nervous because I've never done something like this, but we're gonna have this whole vlog to look back and see how this turns out. Y'all, oh, hold on, I'm trying to click this. Guess what? Uh, I just put the event out on Eventbrite. I don't know why this is not clicking. Hold on. Oh my goodness, y'all. So it is live. I have the information here. I have TBA because I still don't have the location yet, but we finna get that together. Um, and this is the ticket price. And this is the event with the event details. I can't believe this is happening. So I just, I don't think that many people are going to show up. So I only put 25 slots for like the event. We'll see. We'll see. But yeah. The lighting is so bad in here. But I'm just in, you know, my prayer closet, you could say. And I was spending time with God and right, I was reading a, a, a chapter and then I was also playing my quiet time music. And, you know, when you play quiet time music on YouTube, it also like plays a variety of different verses on the screen. And the time that I looked at the screen, I happened to see Isaiah forty thirty one, and it says, but those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar, their wings will soar like eagles, and they will run and not grow weary. And that just, I felt like God downloaded to me and said, you need to consistently recharge your spiritual battery. Just like how you charge your laptop and you charge your phone and you charge all of these other devices to prevent them from dying. That's the same way that you need to recharge your spiritual battery because as you go throughout life, as you go throughout the day to day, mundane hustle and bustle, things are going to happen to cause your battery to deplete and go down. And you don't want to wait until your battery is at 20%, right? To then go and try to re-up. You need to be re-ing up. Once you see yourself going past below 50, you need to go back into your prayer closet. You need to go read your word. You need to go and pray and do whatever you need to do to re-up in your spiritual. Because, listen, that is key to sustaining and living a fruitful life right so i just encourage you to not let that battery go too far down and to consistently take time to refuel yourself and to recharge yourself and to get yourself back to the 95 and to the 100 percent because we do it with our devices right god forbid your phone Go back on 20. You are going to be running to the charger, putting your thing on low power mode. You ain't going to be using no, no, you know, social media because, you know, God forbid you open Snapchat when your phone got. <laughs> well, back when people used to use Snapchat, but God forbid you open that thing up when your phone on 20 percent, you'll be on zero in a minute. But uh, the same way that we do that with our devices, you need to take time to recharge yourself right? And however that is for you. And personally, for me, my recharge is I go in that closet, I close that door, I pray, I worship, and I read my word. And I come back and my battery is charged up and I'm ready to ready to rumble, right? And that's why it says, but those who hope in the Lord renew their strength, uh, they will run and not grow weary. So if you feel a little bit weary, you feel a little bit tired, you need to go recharge your battery. 15, 16 for a whole Oh, that's not bad. Hey guys, how y'all doing? 
I hope you enjoyed up to the point of this vlog. So I just want to give y'all an update. So today is December 28th. And by the time you are watching the vlog, the tickets for the Own Your Shift Vision Book Party is going to be available. Are you guys excited? Because I am truly excited. I can't wait to meet y'all via Zoom and in person and come together and make God's vision for your life plain. So just to give you guys a brief explanation about what is going on and what the event is going to look like so you know what to expect. So when you click on that link that I've either emailed you or that's down in the description box, there is going to be an Eventbrite link for those who are going to be attending via Zoom. You will purchase the Zoom ticket. And for those who are, are going to be attending in person, you will purchase the in person ticket so they will be going on at the same time simultaneously i'll just be live streaming via zoom at the actual day of the event so for those of y'all who are attending the in-person session just want to drop some yeah i'll put you on to the sauce so at the in-person event, of course, you're going to have the opportunity to build sisterhood and connect with like-minded individuals, but you're also going to have, um, there's also going to be mocktails there. So you can have like a little bit of champagne, just like, like you were going to like a Sunday brunch with the girls. You're also going to, there also is going to be music and vibes. We are going to also have a whole bunch of different magazines, pens, pencils, printers, and all that so that we can come and, you know, get the vision and the pictures together we're also going to have a portion of the event where you're going to be able to make your own bouquet of flowers um, and this is by sincerely florals so i'm partnering with her and you're going to be able to come and make your own bouquet of flowers and write a love letter to yourself at the ending of the event so that you can take that bouquet of flowers home and just have it as a remembrance of why you came to this event and how impactful it was and everyone that is coming in person you are going to be gifted a goodie bag with a whole bunch of different goodies in there i'm not going to tell you all the goodies because you got to come and find out right but there's going to be a lot of different goodies in the goodie bag and with a purchase of the ticket to come to the in-person event you are going to get a journal included okay okay listen and I'm gonna include a clip of what the journals look like. And listen, even if you're not coming in person and you can't make it in person, because I know a lot of my lovely subscribers are in different states, if you still wanna purchase a vision journal, I got you, okay? The link is also gonna be in the description box if you wanna support your girl and get a journal. So these journals was a vision that God placed on my heart. And in the journal, as you can see, there is going to be the first portion of the journal. I have a prayer for you guys for 2024 that I basically am praying over your life. And then after that, there is going to be your own dedicated portion where you are going to write your own personal prayer for the year of 2024. Then after that, you're going to flip the page and you're going to be able to see a whole section full of Bible verses that you can go through throughout the year as life is lifey. And these verses are not only going to encourage you, but they're going to remind you of your God-given abilities and your God-given strengths. Okay, sometimes, you know, when you're in the hustle and bustle, you just need a little Bible verse to, to get you back on track get you back alive you know what i mean so that is also going to be in the journal and then after that you're going to have dedicated pages where we're going to actually be writing down the vision writing down the goals and breaking it down from different categories and you're going to have sections where you can put your pictures in and all of that cute stuff and after that you have the rest of the journal and you have the pages so that you can date the pages and all and you'll have the rest of the journal so that as you go throughout the year you'll be able to journal write down your goals write down your different plans as the months go by and everything that's like the time to create this journal for you lovely people because i felt like god placed it on my heart to do so if you feel inclined and you want to purchase a journal 
feel free to check the link in the description box and I'm gonna send them to y'all just in time and if for some reason you're watching this video after the vision book party and you still want to get a journal listen go to that link because it is never too late to create the vision it is never too late i don't care if it's march 2024 i don't care if it's june 2024 if you want to come and make a vision for the rest of the year and you want a vision journal listen baby go check them out you're not going to regret it so this is just a little bit about the vision book party if you have any questions Feel free to comment down below. Y'all know I am not shy. I'll be responding in the comments, y'all. I'll be responding back to every single comment. So if you have a question, feel free to send me the question. I'm more than happy to help because I want this to be a community. I want to be of help and of service to you. And I am so looking forward for you guys to be showing up, showing out. It is going to be a good time. It's going to be a vibe. We are going to invite God into the atmosphere. And I'm telling you, 2024 is going to be a year to remember, a year for the books and all the visions and goals that we're going to set in that vision book party is going to manifest according to God's will and I'm so excited for the testimonies that are about to come about just because of this vision book party listen I am speaking it into existence I am declaring it over y'all lives for everyone that attends this vision book party y'all are gonna come back and testify whether it's a week after the party whether it's two weeks three months or whether it's the ending of 2024 y'all are gonna come back and testify of the goodness of God and how how he brought to life all the visions that you wrote in this journal. So come join me in this vision book party. Come join the other like-minded women as we write God's vision and make it plain for our lives and go after every single thing that God has for us. I'm looking forward to seeing you there. All right, check that description box and much love to you if you made it to the end of this vlog as you saw the entire process of me bringing this thing to life and i will be releasing more vlogs as we come closer to the event so that you guys can see the back end of me setting up the event and continuing to bring god's vision to life once again if you've made it this far and made it to the end of the video i really appreciate you i'm looking forward to seeing you january 20th much love and i want to come here and formally end the vlog right um thank you for watching this own your shift vlog and this vlog is about the vision journal party if you've already have not gotten the point of it but i just wanted to come here and briefly talk about this own your shift brand which is something that god placed on my heart and it's to help women transform their lives and own their shift into the healed happy and healthy best version of themselves so doing this vision journal party is going to be a great way to start off this brand and start off this idea that God has put in me. So I would love to see you guys there. I can't wait to build community and build sisterhood and make connections with like-minded women and like-minded individuals. And I really don't know who is going to show up. I don't even know if y'all really going to even buy the tickets, but I am being obedient to what God is telling me to do. So I really, 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 really hope to see you guys there. And thank you for staying till the end. And I pray that you are safe out here on new year's eve and i pray that you have a blessed and blessed and wonderful new year's day whenever you are watching this and you if you are watching this a couple of days after know that it is not too late to go and sign up for the vision journal party you're not going to want to miss it and i just want to thank you so much in advance and feel free to comment below